this is the lesson items that we have before and after the at the end of the this tutorial we'll be customizing this lesson items into something like this so this tutorial will be all about this conversion process from this one and to this one so let's get started so actually uh, in QGIS uh, customizing this laser items is quite easy I'm not going to show you much uh, detail here about layout simply uh, while we go to add item and we add, add legend by default we are going to see all the legend items that uh, will be uh, showing in your layers panel but since we don't want all these items we want a bit of customization and now what we need to do is that we just um, need to go to and when you load here and you need to go to its the expected item properties you can notice here it's legend item is being activated with this uh, bold kind of color so now we are going to go in on its item properties and now if you go here and there is an option called auto update and we need to untick this and now we can uh, control the things and we can customize it now since uh, this uh, color is showing the elevation i don't need about this hillside things and i'm going to remove it simply left click this one just left click it and uh, just press this uh, red color item item it will just remove the selected item and just click it and one item has been reduced now on the other thing is that i just want i don't want this band one great things so what can be done for that it's also quite easy it's just what you do is that just uh, left click it and just there is a uh, option called here again this uh, remove selected item and just click it and that is also gone and now the thing is quite very simple i just need to edit this this name and i will be just uh, writing here some called elevation and uh, in bracket i will be writing meters right and uh, so now my job is done but uh, since i want to show this uh, uh, legend a bit of more beautiful and so i need to increase its height for that i'm going to go in this symbol option just left click this uh, this uh, arrow and just uh, now we need to increase its height and go to its symbol height and just uh, you can increase it uh, as your requirement or you can just uh, what you need to do is that you can just uh, scroll your mouse scrolling your mouse uh, that roll bar uh, it will be quite easy so i would prefer to keep uh, this much height and uh, uh, if you want to do customization in symbol width uh, you can also do a bit of uh, uh, a twist and turn here as well so it's fine for me with this uh, 7 mm and uh, other thing other customization if you need uh, if you want to uh, do some work on this fonts then you can also uh, do a bit of work on this font and since this is uh, uh, this is uh, subgroup font and uh, this elevation meters that you are seeing there it is of a subgroup font so you can what you can do is either you can scroll your mouse uh, and you can increase its size scrolling forward will increase its size and scrolling backward will decrease the size or you can go here and you can also you can press this one uh, drop down and you can also decrease or increase its size as desired and this uh, value that you have seen here it's item item point and you can uh, just uh, decrease it uh, so you can also do that thing and about uh, uh, and about one more thing about spacing is that uh, we also need to adjust its spacing so you need to go to this spacing section just left click on this uh, drop down and just um, you can notice here a uh, space below here from legend title we don't have any legend here and you can simply uh, what you can do is that scroll backward and you can also adjust the settings so there are lots of uh, options here you can just uh, try give it a try so now our legend has been changed here successfully uh, so thank you viewers for today that's it from me